it's deleted now if you want to uh, create a pod you in the declarative approach in the projects what do you do you create a manifest file give some name pod.yaml okay you write the manifest file it has got some uh, parameters which are very important api version api version of kubernetes okay there are some mandatory parameters like metadata metadata means uh, which will define which kind of object you want to deploy kind is pod <clears throat> these are all predefined and some name of the pod name of the pod is my pod again okay and api version metadata specifications these are important and uh, you have these these are the child objects child of this metadata so you put them uh, one level below right so these are these two are children of this metadata object similarly in spec again you have what uh, see actually metadata deals with the information of the pod like which kind of deployment you want what is the name spec deals with what is inside the pod what is inside the pod actually containers isn't it so containers you can have any number of containers so it starts with this name of the container is my pod the same name i'm giving image from where which this container is going to be created and then you have something called ports okay like container port where your application is running it's a port 80 right this is how it's created cubectl offline set pod.yaml if there are any errors uh, kind is not set it's clearly showing any errors it will show error validating data kind is not set we have set the kind oh sorry so here it should be api version kind of deployment should be here which is pod and then metadata means name of the pod and you may also put some labels if you want labels are like tags which are very important for identification of element so let's say any label you can add app equal to my app is the label i want to put okay now let's create it for the first time when you are creating it you may use create or apply is also fine still error spec and unknown field ports yeah there would be so many things you need to remember it may be very difficult to remember this kind right this way uh, remembering the uh, all these components what you can do always official rec recommendation is there okay go to kubernetes.io official documentation of kubernetes this is allowed in real projects also this is how we do because you don't remember the entire file similarly in the certification also you can refer this everywhere this is accepted Okay, so search in the documentation for pod creation. So you will see the search here, pods in the Kubernetes. So what is a pod? Everything. See, this is the YAML file. Complete file is available. Just copy it and use it. This is what we do in real practice as well. If you want, you can modify it. Okay, let's see what is the correction by just copying it sideways. right see kind i have written metadata a name you have written spec containers uh, ports so port yeah this is the correction p should be small they are all predefined you cannot write like as you wish so ports as you keep on writing you may get used to it you may you know the format or else always refer the official documentation nothing wrong that's how it, it works okay So our file is ready. Now let's run this YAML file. Instead of writing from the scratch, you can take the reference, modify it accordingly. Yes, pod is created. This is the declarative approach.
So practice declarative approach thoroughly. You can learn imperative approach very easily. Once you know declarative approach, once you learn this thoroughly, you can follow, you can know imperative approach with a little practice. That is only for certifications. We use that mostly. But you now understood the difference, right? And how to do it. So for every object, there are uh, imperative commands. That means for every object creation. So now I just created a pod. We'll be creating service object, deployments, and so on. Okay. So from now onwards, I'll show you only declarative approach. At the end, I'll just show you all the imperative approach once. So that you can compare. Once you learn declarative, then uh, you will see the imperative commands at the end. 